Our final inductee in the class of 2019's Builders Group was a fixture in Guelph Minor Lacrosse for nearly 30 years. But that only tells a small part of his involvement in and commitment to the sport, not only locally, but at the provincial and national levels. He, he began his involvement in the sport in Guelph in 1972 and held virtually every volunteer position available, including coaching, officiating, fundraising, and the convening of tournaments. In 1987, he became the chairman of the Royal City Regals Lacrosse Association, a position he held for 15 years, and during that period managed to find time to found the Guelph Junior B franchise. He acted as both general manager and executive for the Junior B Club from 1991 until 2001, but clearly still had far too much time on his hands. So in 1997, he began operation of an under-20 women's lacrosse program, coaching the team to provincial silver medals in 1997, 98, and 99. So to summarize, during a, little, a large chunk of the 90s and early 21st century, he was head of the local minor lacrosse club, GM of the Junior B Club, and organizer coach of the Guelph U20 women's squad. Of course, those three roles represented only his local involvement. In 1987, he branched out into provincial lacrosse, assuming the position of OLA Vice President of Coaching, a role he held for four years, and then taking on the Vice President of Refereeing Mantle, a job he did for another four years, until 1993. The only obvious move then was up, and that's the direction he took. He was named President of the Ontario Lacrosse Association in 1994, and fulfilled the duties of that position with skill and diplomacy until 2003, a 10-year term that is the longest on record for an OLA chief. Of course, the president's role didn't allow him to concentrate solely on the Ontario lacrosse scene, but required him to branch out once again, this time to the national level. And that he did, acting as a director of the Canadian Lacrosse Association for the entire 10-year term of his provincial presidency. During his OLA presidential term, he also was involved in provincial multi-sport bodies, sitting on the steering committee of the Sports Alliance of Ontario from 1994 to 96, and on the steering committee of the Presidents of Sports Ontario from 1996 to 99. This is a man who truly gives new meaning to the term multitasking. As he broadened his horizons from local lacrosse to the provincial and national levels, his workload at home in Guelph certainly wasn't lessened. In fact, he took on more civic responsibility by chairing the Sports Advisory Council in Guelph from 1992 to 2003, a period during which he also sat on the Grant Committee of the City of Guelph. In 2003, the CLA was changing the Middle Cup from its traditional Ontario BC seven-game series format to that of a four-team tournament, and our inductee was asked to chair the hosting committee on behalf of the Ontario Junior A Council to ensure that the transition ran smoothly. And to no one's surprise, under his direction, it did. He was recognized for his contributions to lacrosse in Ontario by being named Ontario's Mr. Lacrosse in 1999. And in 2006, he was rightfully enshrined in both the Guelph Sports Hall of Fame and the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame. Tonight, we present him with his Hall of Fame hat trick, a true builder of our sport at all levels, and a multitasker extraordinaire, Chuck Miller. I've always been short for words, so I won't take everybody's time up here tonight. But it wasn't a, I never played the game, but I did go out and play two old timer games, scored a goal a game, and I said, why am I running up and down on this concrete floor when I can be in the administration side and not do that kind of work? So I stuck to the administration side. I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've met many new friends across the uh, country. And Rose Ingman from Ontario and Annie McDonald were my mentors that wanted me to stay involved in the game and keep growing the game. And I did that for many, many years. I've also thrown my name in to be the president of the Canadian Lacrosse Association, uh, which is an election that's coming up next weekend, because I love the game so much. I started it in 1968 uh, and 69. I went and watched my cousin play. And two 
friends, and I thought lacrosse was one of the greatest games in the world. It was better than hockey, basketball, and any other sports, and I stayed with it ever since and uh, got it to the level it is here today. And uh, a good friend of mine that I met through the uh, years was Solon Gill, who was ill and could not make it here, but he did phone and congratulate me on going into the Hall of Fame. So. Thanks everybody for allowing me to join the big shrine in New Westminster. Just, just before Chuck returns to his seat, I'd just like to read this. Chuck, on behalf of our OLA members, board, and myself personally, we'd like to congratulate you on your induction as a member of the 2019 class of the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame. Your 40 plus years of growing our great game at all levels is truly amazing and has had a tremendous impact on the growth we are currently experiencing. You have set the bar high for those who will follow you. Our game is in a better place because of your hard work and dedication. Thank you. We are all thinking of you this weekend and wish we could have been with you on this very special day. It's from Stan Cockerton.